What's going on boys and all guys here, welcome back to another video and in today's video of course we're going to go over the weekly custom tactic update and we've got a new formation in there this week as well and we've got three of the regulars so I'm going to go through all the custom tactics and instructions individually as usual and by the time you watch this video I'm probably 100 subscribers away from 200k so you want to subscribe before you be my guest if you want to just be a lurker before you do that as well but anyway let's go straight into the video so we start off with the 4-2-3-1 the usual the classic now I know this is technically ultimate team in the season so i was thinking i'm going for like a super try hard tactic but the truth is is that the rewards are not even that good i don't know what year we're thinking with these rewards but it is what it is um but we kept the tactic the exact same from last week 40 to it's a very balanced formation we would normally start the game out with this tactic it's got long ball forward runs so when we win the ball back that game will help us move forward the ball a bit more quicker um, as i said if you're a new gen you may prefer the depth to be a bit higher old gen leave it on 35 and uh, these are the instructions, stay central, come back in defense and um, balance for the striker. Um, come back in defense with all three cams and get into the box or across. If you want to make this a tad bit attacking, you can leave your cam on stay forward. That's up to you. Um, both CDMs on cut passing lane, stay back attacking, cover center. And you have the left back and right back on stay back, conservative and overlap. And the goalkeeper and the center backs are on default. Now, the striker, um, extra striker option still works with its formations. As I said to you, still the... Okay, it's so ultra defensive formation, but you just press a D-pad tactic, extra striker, and it ends up becoming a very, very attacking formation. So it still works very, very well. Don't forget, you ideally want someone who's got an ideally high attacking work rates, and it's got very, very good shooting stats. That's kind of the key thing here. So if you're using a player with like low attacking work rates, they might not even go forward. So do bear that in mind. Uh, so that is the formation we will start the game in. Then we have the typical 3-5-2. To be honest, as since the game has come out, come out, I've not really changed that much here. Um, I've just increased the depth to apply a bit more pressure. The rest is fine. Slow build up play, direct passing. Slow build up play is really just for those that struggle with build up. Yeah, it's a bit slower, um, but Pomo is a long ball. The play just moves a bit too quickly for most, most players, the truth is. And unless you're doing L1, if you're like getting frustrated a lot in your games, slow build up play just helps you play a bit slower. And also, if you can't get out of a 3 5 2 because you find that your back three are isolated, Using slow build up play will help you because the left mid right mid won't go so quickly far forward. So that's why I'd say use slow build up play. If it's too slow for you, then you can use long ball. Um, we've got both the strikers on stay central, um, getting behind, stay forward, and then a the cam on stay forward. Typical, as I mentioned, you have three players on stay forward. And this defense basically in a five, two, uh, five, two, one, two, simple as it is. And it attacks in a three, five, two. Um, if you want to make this defend in a five, in a five, um, three, 1-1, one, one. you can also put the strike on comeback and defense. And we have left it like that. Cam on getting to the box for cross. I think it's very important, especially for the, the meta now, pass inside the box. Um, left mid and right mid, both of them on comeback and defense, getting behind and getting to the box. No need for concern. Someone asked me about this last week. No need for conserving interceptions. Everyone's doing two season players anyway. So there's no real reason to actually use conservative interceptions. Um, both CDMs cut passing lanes, they're attacking and cover center. As I said, if you want to make this a bit more attacking or a tad bit more attacking, you put one to center mids to get forward or lead them on balance. So that way you can have one guy going forward and your CDM kind of staying back. Um, but me personally, them both ones still are attacking. I trigger them myself manually. Um, that's what I prefer. The left center back and the right center back, put them on overlap. This is important. When you go forward, they're going to act more as like a bit wider left backs and right backs when they go forward. And it's a, bit, it's a bit better to do the butterfly wings with these guys on overlap. That's a key. Don't forget about overlap in terms of that. Um, then we go over to um, the 4-3-2-1. Now, as I said, you can use any... To be honest, in this slot over here, um, as I said, this is the formation you'll start the game in, okay? Now, most of the time, you'll be on this formation. Let's say, for example, if you're winning inside the game, you'll stay on this formation. If you are losing a little bit, you may want to use extra strike and you might stay on this formation then... To, uh, like, at your level, you might say to me, you know what, Neil, I'm a good player. I'm a rank one player. I don't need to use anything funky. You might use a 4 to on the entire game. But if you're sitting and you're a rank five player, you might be going up and down throughout the game, depending on the skill level of your opponent, etc., etc. So that's the formation we start with. If I need to use extra striker, I'll then use extra striker. If I can't get through with this one, then I'll go to the 3-5-2. That's the way I look at it. So this formation always is like a kind of an alt alternate formation. Our biggest the 4 2 3 one and 3-5-2 are kind of like a wide formations you may want to, over here you may want to use a 4 one 2 one 2 second variation a 5 2 one 2 you basically have three so if you have let's say you like one of you like one of my formations and that's not in this video or let's say you copy my tactics every single week and you got and you got this slot over here and you don't know what to put in put the best tactic that's worked for you 
I personally, just to keep things a bit different, I've kept the 4-3-2-1 here because you attack with three players, um, um, three versus four against your opponent's back four. Um, balanced, of course, you can use pressure on every touch if you want to um, with this formation. Personal possession loss, you can use it, but just be a bit a bit careful with that. It will really just depend on your skill level. Um, but you can use pressure on every touch. Um, moderate width, just a bit higher depth, long ball and direct passing. You can use direct passing or um, forward runs. In a 4-3-2-1, um, it's become apparent that most people still prefer direct passing, although I still prefer forward runs. Um, that's just kind of my take. But if you want to go with the masses and everyone else, um, you can definitely go with direct passing if you're not sure. As I would say, if you do have time, just try both with them balanced. Players in the box on seven. The idea is this is this is basically the, 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 the tactic for the crossing meta. If you want to get the ball inside the box, right, and with your players, and you want to score that first time shot goal, this is what you want to do. Um, so we have a uh, destruction. So we have stay central for the singular strike up front. Stay forward, get it behind. Left forward and right forward. They're both on stay forward and get it behind. So you've got three players on stay forward, three players on stay back. That's how it's going to be the entire game. So you're ready for the counter attack and you've got the three versus three. Then you have one kind of like CDM player. I have Declan Rice here, medium high work rate. It's what you ideally want to get. He's the guy that's going to be sitting back, kind of protecting the back four. Cover center, center edge of the box, and step up while attacking. This is important because you don't want, because you already have these players running in as well. I'll show you in a second. You want at least one player to stay outside the box to get ready for the counter attack, or if you can't go forward to recycle the ball backwards. Then for the left center mid or right center mid, um, you can put them on cover center, get forward, and get into the box or across. If you find that get forward is too attacking for you, um, put one of these on balance if you want to. If you find it way too attacking, you put one of them on stay back. I would say try them both on get forward first. And then this, this is how the secret works, right? Stay back, um, overlap for both the left back and right back. So when you go inside the game, if you get the ball down the wing, you'll have three players inside the box up against your opponent's natural back four, right? So you've got three players against his back four and you've got these two players coming inside. So you create an overload. So the key to do this is that to use your left back and right back is to just trigger them forward yourself. If you want to, you can use the D-pad tactic, attack it four backs, or you can, for example, Put them on balanced, but I just prefer to do it myself. Balanced, I'll be honest, they just stand there. They hover and they do nothing. If you're going to use balance, just put one of them on balance, one of them on stay back, concentrate your attack down that side. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just say trigger it yourself manually. It's more efficient, and that way you don't get caught out as well, and you, and you can basically go to a back three when you want to, okay? That's the key. That's what I'd say in terms of that. So that way you have, for example, Kimi going down the wing, and you've got one, two, three, four, five, up against your opponent's back five. Especially on new gen, you'll be basically in, in front of the defensive liner between the CDMs. So that would work very, very well. So that is the 4-3-2-1. So if you're the kind of guy that loves that pass to the box, you might like this. People like this more than a 4-1-2-1-2 in case you're wondering. It's because it's actually three strikers in a row. Whereas in the 4 one 2 one 2 there's two strikers and a cam. So it's not really the same attack and threat going forward. And that's why people find a 4-3-2-1 to be actually more attacking. And then we go over to the 4-2-4 now. We got rid of the 4 triple 2 um, I've had the 4 2 4 back here before. The reason is because people are going down one or two goals, I think, much easier now. It's team in the season players. You don't need to use pressure on heavy touch anymore um, or press possession loss. You still can, um, but with constant pressure, you just go gung ho straight away. If you want to use this as a pressing formation, use press on possession loss. But to be honest, I just use constant pressure. High width, high depth, you want to be as wide as possible and the highest possible up in the pitch as well to win the ball back, especially when your opponent is wasting time. Long ball forward runs, a natural width, just a bit lower because the 4 4 is naturally very, very wide. Players in the box, I don't know why it's a five, it should be on seven. Instructions. Now, uh, before I get on to this video, don't forget this video is sponsored by Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash FIFA score. And of course, I got the video, how to build up with the 4 3 2 one I play two games of that. Live examples, I'll show you how to build up with the 4 3 2 one of course, how to actually use um, the left back and right back manually, in case you're wondering how to trigger them forward manually. I'll show you how to do that. But don't forget, this video is sponsored by Patreon series, patreon.com forward slash no guides. Link is down below in the description. If you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. That is, of course, the no guides guarantee ever since I started the Patreon series. Link is down below in the description. God knows how many videos there are there, I'd be honest, at this point in time, probably hundreds. Um, so, instructions. All the front line on comeback and defense. The left, the left wing and right wing are both on get into the box for cross, getting behind. And uh, two strikers on stay central get it behind that. This is the reason why, okay? When you're losing inside the game, 
you don't want your players on stay forward contrary to belief because your opponent will just pass in between and you're going to get and you have to force your player out and you'll get exposed you want all your players to be behind the ball so you can press together in a unit you want to press together as a unit together that's what you want to do so what you want to do is have everyone and don't forget this actually defends in a 4-4-2 all this is basically is just a 4-4-2 but more attacking their left wings and right wings. That's it. So when the left wing and right wings on come back in defense, you will still defend in a 4-4-2. Think of this like a 4-4-2, but just more attacking, okay? Now for both the center mids, I have them both on get forward, get into the bottom cover center. Because if I'm changing to this formation, I'm chasing the game, I need a goal. Most players are playing somewhat of a 3-5-2, a 4-3-2-1, a 4-3-3-1, um, or a 4 one 2 second variation. They've got three strikers on stay forward. So I can afford to have a naked back forward, no senior protecting them, and have a four versus three. That's the key. So that is why I got these players on get forward to get into the box for cross. If you're sitting here like, you know what, this is too much for me, just put one of them on stay back while attacking. Boom, solution solved. Um, that's what I'd say for that. Both the left back and the right back, I got them on stay back overlap. I mean, you can put them on get forward manually if you want to do deep tactics, but again, that might be just a bit too attacking, a bit too aggressive, so do bear that in mind. So what I normally would do is I would start with the 4-2-3-1. That's what I'll start with, okay? Um, I would use an extra strike if I need to. If I'm really struggling and I need to create the overload and I want and I need and I need two strikers, because you see you have the extra striker, but the extra striker only comes forward when you have possession of the ball. So if I need that two striker system, then I go to the 3-5-2, the ultimate formation, the best. I told you since day one, guys, the best attack formation in the game. It's a 4-4, it's a 4-4-2 with a cam. It's a 4 one 2, one, two. That's a terrible depiction of like I was with a trio. I don't know what I was trying to draw there. 4 one 2, one, two. And it's like a 4 two, three, one with an extra striker. It's everything that you want in every formation. Of course, you use a player at the back. But that's the point of it going forward. Um, if I And I'll probably use this most of the time. If I can't break down, I would normally go to a 4 three, two, one, And that is just to have three players on stay forward and three players in the middle. Just to keep a back four on shape. So if I need a back four, but I still need three players, three strikers. So you see one striker, two strikers, three strikers. Do you see that? Then the 4 3 4 is the formation. Okay, you know what? I'm losing. I need to get the game back in. I need to go back into the game. I will change to the 4 3 4. And that is then the comeback formation. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you are still watching at this point, don't forget, please do subscribe. 100 away now. So by the time this video is probably live, I probably should be at a a um, couple of hundred, well, probably a hundred away by that time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, and of course. I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you very much for 100,000 subscribers. It's been a long, long journey. Never expected that for, for a dedicated people tutorial channel. It is what it is. Um, but thanks for your support, because obviously the truth is, without you guys watching, we will not be here in the first place. Thanks for watching, boys. Take it easy, and have a wonderful weekend. Peace out.